Hello guys, JNM here with an update for my JSculpt add-on for Blender 3 for retopology. For demonstration of the new retopo features that you find in the JSculpt panel, I created this stylized model. Not finished yet, but good enough. You can add now a mirror modifier for the retopo mesh, and also the mesh type can be defined. You can use a plane or a single vertex. The mesh is created at the origin or at the 3D cursor, and you can also add a subsurf modifier for the mesh. For retopology, I recommend to set the colors to random here in the viewport shading, because then you can better distinguish between the sculpt and the retopo mesh. Okay, you see here by default, the retopo mesh is created at the origin and then you can move it to a location you like by pressing the G key followed by set, for example. And then I use the polybuild tool to adjust the vertices and extend the mesh. But when I set the location to the cursor, select the 3D cursor tool in the toolbar and then click onto the mesh. To define the location of the cursor, the retopo mesh will be created at this position. I will also use a mirror for the x-axis now. And then the created plane has a mirror modifier attached. Now I move around the vertices that are snapped to the target object. For the mirror modifier, clipping and merge is enabled, so that overlapping vertices are automatically merged at the center. Alright, but there is more, now let me go ahead and set the mesh type to vertex. And also location is still set to cursor. Okay, I set the cursor to this point here. And then the mesh is just a single vertex in edit mode and you can press E for example to extrude. With this you can define any type of faces that are snapped to the target. I press A to select all, then F to fill. But for this face the normals have to be flipped by pressing Alt and N. Okay, and now we can go ahead and use the default tools like move or extrude for modeling the retopo mesh. I also like to use this feature for adding hard surface meshes. For example, for this guy, I like to add a kind of band for this, yeah, let's call it arm. So I set the cursor to this location typeset to vertex and then I add the retopo mesh, but this time with the subsurface modifier enabled. Then I extrude this edge by pressing the E key, press A to select all and then E again. And then you can see we can extrude this mesh around the arm. The subsurface modifier is added and I also like to add a solidify modifier to make the mesh a bit thicker. Then I tap into object mode and set the shading to smooth and then tap back to edit mode and extrude the mesh around the target. Just press E and rotate the viewport. It's pretty easy to create a mesh like that, that is nicely snapped to the surface. Ok, to make it look a bit more crisp, I press Ctrl and the R key to add edge loops and move them to the top and the bottom of the mesh. Then we can go to sculpt mode and use for example the grab brush to adjust the mesh. You can get the add-on for free from my GitHub page, the link is added to the description below. The current version is 1.0.6. And you can also get the add-on from the Blender market, also find the link in the description. When you get it from there, I can offer you special support and 5% of the profit goes to the Blender Dev Fund. If you like the add-on, let me know and support me by becoming my patron or join here as a channel member, this would really help a lot. If you have any questions or like to see new features, add these to the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter and I'll see you in the next one.